treated like a star. Veet, what beauty feels like. Hey, what's up? It's SABC3 Expresso with me, Jen Su. I've got your Hollywood Week in Review. It is Monday. Hope you're having a great Monday morning so far. Well, yes, it was a comic book geek stream at the Captain America premiere. It was really fun indeed. The Hollywood premiere of Captain America, the first Avenger, had Chris Evans, who plays the leading hero, and joined by his upcoming Avengers castmates, Robert Downey Jr., Chris Hemsworth, and Samuel L. Jackson. That flick is currently filming under the leadership of Buffy the Vampire Slayer creator, Joss Reedon. It's pretty rare to be able to say that every day I go to work and I'm happy about it. And the truth is, I do it for free. Stan Lee, who conceived Captain America back in the 1940s, was also there. He's just a guy like you or me, except a little better. He's a little stronger, a little faster, a little better fighter. But he can be killed. He can be, you know, anybody can beat him if they're able to. But he goes on and on and perseveres. Mila Kunis and Justin Timberlake looked so hot at the New York premiere of Friends with Benefits. But the leading actress wasn't the only lady in red. Emma Stone and Emmanuel Shariki also turned up in that color, while Jenna Elfman went with white. Eva Dix Clarkson also struck with basic black. Earlier, Mila and Justin spent the day plugging the romantic comedy. Elsewhere, new characters have arrived on the set of Gossip Girl. French actors Roxanne Risquita and Hugo Becker will spice things up this season, along with new cast member Elizabeth Hurley. And Lady Gaga, she sparked her usual photo frenzy as she changed up her look for a series of radio interviews. Neil Patrick Harris brought his magic touch to the Broad stage in Santa Monica. The How I Met Your Mother star served as director of the new play, The Experts at the Card Table, starring magician Guy Hollingworth. And it's not magic where you see a cheesy magician with 80s pop music and dubs. Although I think That's you do that. That'll, That'll be the be sequel. Yeah. And then there was Jenna Fisher. Well, she's looking awesome as the expected mommy, and she brought her mom-to-be baby bump and her husband to her new premiere. Jenna's Office co-stars were also there in full force, including Ed Helms, Angela Kinsey, Kate Flannery, Oscar Nunez, and Ali Camper. Elsewhere in Tinseltown, it's all about the announcements for the Emmy Awards. That's right, Joshua Jackson and Melissa McCarthy had the honor of doing the announcements of the nominations for this year's Emmy Awards. Among the top nominees are TV series Mad Men, Modern Family, Boardwalk Empire, Game of Thrones, and the miniseries Mildred Pierce. Glee star Jane Lynch is also set to host the ceremony on September the 18th. Over in London, Michael Caine braved the rain to represent Cars 2 at its UK premiere. The acting legend revealed why he wanted to participate in the animated flick. So I now have three grandchildren, under three. This is what I gave them. This is me. That's Finn Mac Missile. And if you press there, he talks. Now you can't hear it here, but the volume's low. But that's my voice on there. And they all do this, they all go... While Juliana Hoff was with her mom at the beach in Miami, Jessica Soar and football player Chad Jacinko helped to kick off Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week swimwear. Here's a look at those barely there swimsuits on the catwalk. your Hollywood Week in Review. I'm Jen C for SABC3 Espresso. now throwing it back to you guys in studio. Have a great morning. Be treated like a star. Veet, what beauty feels like.